So far, 40 people have died in what we understand are three coordinated attacks in Paris, France. I'm going to bring in my colleague, the Fox News reporter, Benjamin Hall, who is standing by now from London with more. Ben, from what we understand, or from what I have been hearing, a suicide bomber near the Stade de France, uh, in open shooting at a restaurant in the 11th district, and an ongoing hostage situation uh, in the 10th district at a theater. Ben? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Look, these figures are jumping up uh, every minute. We started with 26 dead, 30 dead, 36 dead. We know that there have been three attacks. We know that they happened uh, just a couple of hours ago with gunmen opening fire with automatic rifles in a busy nightlife, di nightlife district. We also know that near the Stade de France there was an attack, uh, so suicide bombers and grenades used. The biggest, the biggest threat at the moment is in this music hall. They've been telling there was the Eagles of Death metal band were playing, and so far within that one music hall, 35 are thought to be dead, and 100 are being held hostage. This is a coordinated terrorist attack, and it comes in the wake of a number of other attacks in France which have been attributed to uh, Mus Muslim radicals. Now, what we know is that France has a long history of this, the Charlie Hebdo scandals, but this is unprecedented. Again, uh, one in a restaurant, and we believe that that was assault rifles followed by grenades or a suicide attack, um, and others outside the stadium. While these attacks were going on, there was a football match going on, and actually the president of France, Francois Hollande, was actually in the stadium. They continued playing that match for a while until trying to get people to leave slowly, but we know that chaos ensued. Uh, apparently, I'm hearing that there may also have been a stampede at one of the other locations which may have killed a number of people as well. This is ongoing. Uh, we are hearing new figures, new attacks all the time, and so Paris is certainly not a place, a uh, safe place to be right now. Twitter is apparently on, on fire. So we're going to continue updating you with that. But, um, you know, multiple gunmen on the streets of Paris holding hostage Parisians and uh, many foreigners, I'm sure. We've heard some interviews with foreigners who were in this busy nightlife district. Uh, when all hell broke loose. This is a Friday night in one of the busiest areas of Paris. Uh, we expect this death toll to continue rising. Of course, today we've seen attacks in the Middle East. Uh, we saw Sinjar, a uh, big operation against ISIS. We saw the death of Jihadi John. Who knows? This is retaliation for that, but uh, we're, we've yet to see what's happening at the moment. We have had suggestions from the U.S. security services that this is uh, operations by terrorists. We've also heard from the deputy mayor of Paris, who says that this is a nightmare, quote. But they are people huddling, hiding in the streets, trying to get away from these gunmen. Uh, stampedes. 60 people now in that uh, concert hall. Uh, rising numbers all the time. Uh, suicide attacks, vests, grenades, assault rifles. Of course, the last right. one we heard was just... Uh, uh, a few people who died uh, in the Charlie Hebdo. This is an attack like no other. This is unprecedented, it is coordinated, and it is still continuing. I mean, right. this is a tragedy.